Over the last little while, I've been doing retrospectives of all the Ultimate Doom episodes. From Knee Deep in the Dead, all the way through to Thy Flesh Consumed, I've gone through each of the levels and discussed what I liked and what I didn't like about each of the outings. Whether you agreed with me or not, it's been fun talking about these levels and getting to go back and experience them again. But as is the nature with YouTube, it's now time for me to put a bow on this and rank all four of the episodes from least favourite to my personal favourite. To be clear, this is based on my personal experiences with the levels and how I feel about playing them. There's no secret formula at play here, there's no rating scale going on behind the scenes. This is just me purely giving my opinion on these episodes and where I rank them against each other. Obviously I don't expect everyone to agree with me and I'm not speaking for the community at large. I'd love to hear your rankings in the comments. Let's get a very positive discussion about Doom going. Let's have fun with Doom and let's just enjoy it. I also need to express that I won't be including Sigil in this ranking. I understand some people consider Sigil part of Ultimate Doom now and that's something I plan to cover in future videos. However, I simply do not have the level of experience with Sigil where I feel confident in placing it among all these episodes that I've literally been playing for over 25 years. Sigil is a beast all to itself and I think it's worthy of being discussed on its own merits. We'll get there when the time is right, I promise. So if you've watched all the videos, you can probably guess where this ranking is going. But for everyone else, let's jump in and start ranking these episodes. Inferno is a very interesting episode. Its highs are incredible, with Mount Erebus and Pandemonium easily sitting among the best levels in Ultimate Doom, as they offer some incredibly frantic experiences that are rarely matched. The visualisation of Hell is quite stunning compared to the grey textures that greet players in Knee Deep in the Dead, and this episode stands out from a visual perspective. However, this episode goes wild with the experimentation, and while those highs I mentioned are incredible, the lows are incredibly frustrating. Hellkeep is a lacklustre introduction to Hell, while Unholy Cathedral and Limbo fall down hard as experiences thanks to their over-reliance on teleporter puzzles. There's nothing wrong with experimentation, but here it impacts playability and enjoyment. I've also made no secret of the fact that I just do not like this. It's an incredibly weak ending to what was original Doom's ending point, and frankly I'm glad there's another episode after it to take that away from it. Overall, I feel like this is the episode with the weakest overall level lineup. When you consider all the parts involved, it just feels inconsistent and it brings the whole experience down a few steps while you're playing it. I'm not saying Inferno is bad, I'm just saying that overall, it's the weakest of the bunch. The Shores of Hell gave me the most pause for thought when making this list, but I think it's a much more consistent experience than Inferno. I think what holds the Shores of Hell back is that none of its levels are truly exceptional. Halls of the Damned is easily my favourite outing here. It throws choices at the player and it's a genuinely fun time to experience. I know it's not for everyone, but personally it's a level I really look forward to. Tower of Babel also does a great job in delivering a fun arena for the player to chase the Cyberdemon around, something that Dis missed horribly with the Spider Mastermind. I also think Deimos Anomaly, the first level in the Shores of Hell, is very underrated. It doesn't match Hanger for quality, it doesn't match Hanger for quality, but it does set a good tone for the second episode and is really fun to boot. Genuinely, I think it's a very underrated level when looking at the whole of the Ultimate Doom collection of levels. Yet despite this, the episode plays host to a lot of sprawling levels that don't really stand out that much from the crowd. Command Center and Spawning Vats don't really offer anything truly exceptional to the Doom canon, and I find them to be bland. There's also Fortress of Mystery, which I've made no secret is probably my least favourite level in the whole of Ultimate Doom, but because it's optional, and because it's really short, I don't weigh it too heavily against the rest of the episode. And I think that's ultimately the thing you've got to take away from the Shores of Hell. It isn't a terrible outing, it's very middle of the road. While Inferno is experimental and different, I feel like Shores is the safest of the episodes, and as a result, lacks a true killer level that would raise it higher in the rankings here. For me, it's perfectly fine, but I can understand why people probably find it a bit bland. As harsh as I was towards Thy Flesh Consumed, ultimately I feel this episode strives to offer a much different experience from anything else found in Ultimate Doom. It's a true test of skill for even experienced Doom players, and when it succeeds in delivering on that, the player gets a very solid experience out of it. 
It's very hard to pick out a level that's actually truly awful here. Die Flesh Consumed, at its worst, has forgettable levels that leave little impression, such as Unruly Evil and Fear. These levels aren't bad per se, they just don't deliver the kind of experience that other levels in this episode pack do. But here's the thing, there's a reason people talk about Hell Beneath and Perfect Hatred so much. There's a sense of satisfaction in completing these levels on Ultraviolence for the first time. It's a great moment for most of the players of Doom, and it's one that many carry with them. I can understand why the difficulty of these two levels can put people off this episode completely, but when taken as a whole, I feel that Die Flesh Consumed has a lot of good in it. Levels like They Will Repent, Sever the Wicked and Hell Followed, as well as Unto the Cruel are very solid outings and offer up very fun experiences in their own right, even if they also contain their own issues. I think much like the Shores of Hell, this lacks a true killer level that really makes people go wow. I know that there's a few infamous levels, which we've discussed previously, but at the end of the day, I feel that the quality here is just slightly higher than the Shores of Hell, and therefore it goes second on my list. For my money, Knee Deep in the Dead offers up the strongest collection of levels in Ultimate Doom. The sense of atmosphere created within the tech bases in this episode is rarely matched elsewhere in the game, and while this episode may have the least number of enemies available to it, it makes effective use of those enemies throughout the episode. There's just so many iconic moments and well designed levels in this episode that it's hard to look past it for being in first place. Hangar is simply iconic and delivers on every front asked of it. This being the first level that most people will play is brilliant. There are bigger levels out there, there are more detailed levels out there, but few of those levels capture the true spirit of doom like Hangar. Toxin Refinery is a genuine challenge and perfectly showcases how strong Doom's level design could be in the right hand. It's a level stuffed to the brim with secrets, but one that feels perfectly entitled to the challenge they present to the players. It's a difficult level on Ultraviolence for new players, but it's a level that tests the skills that players have learned up to this point, and it does a great job in doing that. And then we get to Computer Station. Computer Station for my money is arguably the strongest level in the whole of Ultimate Doom. Strong level design, memorable encounters, and the same escalating tension that I've been talking about, except ramped up to 10. This is the perfect penultimate level, something that isn't matched in any of the other episodes, no matter how hard they try. Even the weakest levels in Knee Deep in the Dead are still good fun to play. Phobos Anomaly, a level I'm not particularly fond of, delivers a strong ending to the episode, and manages to make people want to play more. Knee Deep in the Dead is just that good across the board, and no matter how hard the other episodes tried, they just do not match it for quality. And that's my ranking of the Ultimate Doom episodes. I don't believe there are any terrible episodes in the Ultimate Doom. I think that the quality is pretty high across the board, with a few duds dotted in there just to, you know, catch people out. But at the end of the day, we all love Doom, we all love playing these levels, and we all have our own experiences. If you disagree with what I've said here, that's perfectly fine. Let me know in the comments what you think, let me know what are your favourites, what are your least favourite episodes, and let's get a good conversation going about Doom.